Good morning, good people. Today is the day that I can't say. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. So, I know it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, I had a lot going on with my family. A lot of great strides, a lot of um, positive things, and, and one unfortunate thing. I lost my aunt um, last week, and it's pretty tough. But um, you know, to her kids and her grandkids, and which are my cousins and my younger cousins, um, I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. I'm here for y'all. I know we don't speak all the time. We see each other even less, but. I'm always here, you know. Um, that's one thing. We're family, and that, that's one thing that'll never change. So, with that being said, you know, um, just need all of y'all just pray for my family and uh, keep us in strength. But <clears throat> going forward, today I want to talk about your vision. How do you see yourself? And I'm not saying 10, 20 years from now. How do you see yourself three years from now? Where do you see yourself going? Do you want that house? Do you want to buy that car? Do you want to go on that big vacation? Just where are you? Are you having a family? Are you doing something that you always wanted to do just never had the opportunity to do it that's that's it right there your vision where are you going and for me my vision for my company uh Nilero Realty for those who don't know um I envision myself being one someone that promotes investors that caters to investors um, my my brokerage will will run simultaneously with investors and with the typical client but our specialty will be investments having an investment group and teaching my agents how to become investors um, one thing about it, if all you know, over the years, I've been a teacher for about four years of my professional career. And I do love teaching. That's why I did it. But I also love making more money. So that's why I haven't, that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, but once a teacher, always a teacher. And my thing here is I want to teach people in the future on how to increase their asset column. Because you have two columns. You have an assets and you have a liability. So with your assets, that's something that's gaining money, that's, that's earning you money, regardless if you have to go out and work for it or if it comes in your sleep. A liability is something that costs you money. So that's uh, your car with a car note, your house with a mortgage. Yes, your house is a liability. Until you sell it, it's a liability. Um, clothes, you know, anything that has money going out is a liability. And <clears throat> to me, I want to help people, agents, investors become stronger in their asset column so that is my vision for three years for my company as far as my family goes I just want to put them in a position where they know how to create those assets and, the, and how to minimize those liabilities so over the next course of the week just think about where you want your life to be in three years how you vision that for yourself and for your family. 
and for your business if you have one and really focus on that so the challenge is to create in thorough detail what you will look like in three years next week I'll present mine maybe you can DM me and present yours I love to hear it till next time peace and love